There has been new progress in the Chinese Special Edition AI chip of Intel Gaudi 3. On April 15, it was announced that chip giant Intel recently released a 24-page Gaudi 3 AI Accelerator white paper on its official website. Intel will launch two Special Edition AI chip products for the Gaudi 3 to be released in China. Specifically, it includes two hardware forms of acceleration cards, an Ohm-compatible mezzanine card model Hull 3 to 8, expected to be launched on June 24 this year, the other model is the HL388 Pico Accelerator card, it is expected to be launched on September 24 this year, and based on the number of kernels, working frequency, estimation of TDP and other parameters, compared to the Gaudi 3 International version, the performance of the Chinese Special Edition HL3-8 chip may decrease by about 92, at the Intel Vision 2024 conference held earlier on April 9 in the United States, Intel releases the new generation Gaudi 3 AI acceleration chip, adopting TSMC's 5 nanometers process, bringing a 4x increase in BF16 AI computing power. Meanwhile, compared to Nvidia H100 GPU, the model training speed of Intel Gaudi 3 AI chip has increased by 40, reasoning speed increased by 50, 50 improvement in average performance, an average improvement of 40% in energy efficiency. But the cost is only a small part of H100. For Gaudi 3 China Special Edition news, the Titanium Media app has sent an email to Intel's US headquarters asking for more detailed information. But as of the time of publication, Intel did not respond. It is reported that, in the past period of time, the U.S. government is continuously upgrading its semiconductor investment in China. Export controls in areas such as AI chips. On August 9, 2022, US President Biden signed the $280 billion Chip and Science Act through massive industry subsidies of $52.7 billion and provisions to curb competition, promote chip manufacturing to return to the United States, the bill prohibits subsidized companies in the United States and its allies from building or expanding advanced process chip factories in China and other countries of concern within 10 years. On October 7, 2022, on October 17, 2023, the U.S. Department of Commerce's Bureau of Industry and Security has twice issued export controls on China's advanced semiconductors and computing equipment, intended to prevent China from importing AI semiconductor products. Meanwhile, NVIDIA, AMD, Intel's multiple GPU and AI chip products can no longer be exported to China. Even the high-end gaming graphics card RTX 4090 has been restricted. In December 2003, the U.S. Department of Commerce's BIS announced the launch of an investigation into the semiconductor supply chain at mature process nodes, pointing at China's chip semiconductor industry. On March 29, 2004, BIS updates export restriction measures. Among them, AI semiconductor products exported by the United States to China will adopt a case-by-case -case review policy rule, including technical level, customer identity, comprehensive verification of compliance plans and other information, and some AI PC chips may be included in export control measures. Larger scope restrictions on NVIDIA, AMD and other advanced AI chips and semiconductor equipment are being sold to China. It will come into full effect on April 4. On April 11, the U.S. Department of Commerce has updated the latest list of entities in the joint communique, includes six Chinese companies in the entity list. This includes NVIDIA's largest AI chip distributor in China, citing Heli Tianjin Technology Co., LTD, in fact, under the first round of export controls in the U.S. BIS, as early as July 2003, Intel has previously released the Chinese Special Edition AI chip G-Audi 2 based on the 7 nanometers process, 
Compared to the international version of Giotti 2, the acceleration cards launched for the Chinese market have little difference in performance. The number of integrated Ethernet Redeema ports has been reduced from 24 to 21 to comply with US chip export control regulations. However, the Intel Gaudi 2 China Special Edition only sells dozens of own products. Since the new BIS 1017 regulations were updated last year, due to the higher performance of Intel Gaudi 2 East China Special Edition product compared to export control measures, ultimately, this resulted in its products no longer being able to be sold in the Chinese market. Based on this, around December last year, Intel has attempted to develop the Gaudi 2 Hull 2 to 5B variant, internally known as Gaudi 2C AI chip. I hope to regain the license to sell to Chinese mainland, but in the end, it waited until March this year when BIS announced an update on export restrictions, after the release of Gaudi 3 on April 10. Intel has redeveloped a special edition product. I hope that 5 nanometers Gaudi 3 AI chips will fully compete for the Chinese market in the future, intended to provide alternative options for NVIDIA products for AI and cloud customers, in terms of specific hardware specifications, compared to the original version. The Chinese Special Edition Gaudi 3, having the same 96 MB SRAM on chip memory, 1 to 8 GB HBM 2E high bandwidth memory, the bandwidth is 37 TBS, equipped with PCIe 5.0 times 16 interface and decoding standard, however, due to restrictions on the export control rules of AI chips in the United States, the comprehensive computational performance of such high-performance AI needs to be lower than 4,800 to be exported to China. This means that the 16-bit performance of the Chinese Special Edition Gaudi 3 cannot exceed 150 flops, compared to the 1835 flops achieved by the Gaudi 3 International version. The Chinese Special Edition Gaudi 3 requires a significant reduction in the number of cores and operating frequency. Ultimately, it may require a reduction of approximately 92% in AI performance to meet the export control requirements of the United States. Meanwhile, due to the reduced AI performance of the Chinese Special Edition Gaudi 3 product, this will also significantly reduce its TDP thermal design power consumption. The expected TDP for both OM cards and PCIe cards is 450 watts. The original PCIe card has a TDP of up to 600 watts. The original OM card has a TDP of up to 900 watts. Overall, the AI performance of Intel's Special Edition Gaudi 3 two products specifically launched for the Chinese market, or it may be equivalent to the H20 level of NVIDIA's China Special Edition AI Accelerator card. The latter reduces overall performance by about 80% compared to H100, F16BF16 performance with 148 flops, slightly lower than the export control limit of 150 flops, Currently, NVIDIA H20 AI chip has sent samples to customers in Chinese mainland, but domestic Baidu, Alibaba and other AI leaders have received mediocre feedback from it. Industry insiders have expressed to the Titanium Media app that, the main reason is that the H20 performance is too low, the price is too high, the willingness of enterprises to purchase has decreased, U.S. Secretary of Commerce Raymond said earlier in a public forum that the United States cannot allow China to obtain these cutting-edge chips. We must not let China's chip technology catch up with the United States. The U.S. government does not allow NVIDIA to sell the most complex products to China, the AI chip with the highest processing power, in case China has the ability to train cutting-edge AI models. In addition, there are reports that the U.S. government is also developing a list of advanced Chinese chip manufacturing factories that are prohibited from receiving critical tools so that American companies can more easily prevent technology from flowing into China.
This list may be announced in the coming months. Meanwhile, the United States is actively including the Netherlands. Japan allies, including Germany and South Korea, are putting more pressure on them, require them to further tighten restrictions on China's access to semiconductor technology, core technology, you must have it yourself, this sentence has now been deeply imprinted in the hearts of our Chinese people. Because we have been deeply affected by it for a long time, the semiconductor industry is restricted everywhere. Once, we have made some progress in catching up with technology, but compared to the world's advanced level, there is still a gap in the semiconductor field, especially in chip manufacturing. It has always been a tough nut to crack for our independent technological innovation. The key to the semiconductor industry lies in chip manufacturing technology, and this is precisely the core technology that we urgently need to have independently in this field. We have faced many difficulties, from design to manufacturing. We cannot do without the dependence on foreign technology, but this dependence has already cost us a huge price. Not only does it limit technological innovation, it also poses a potential threat to national security, and to make everyone aware of this cruel reality. It's 2019, the United States has launched comprehensive sanctions against Huawei. Among them, anything involving chips, GMS, screen, any field related to US technology, such as Bluetooth, they have all been mercilessly interrupted in supply, this also makes everyone realize that, once the mature chip industry chain is interrupted by the United States, our country's military, home appliances, basic fields such as automobiles will also be greatly impacted, and Russia becomes the most vivid example, when discussing the situation between Russia and Ukraine EU officials have said, Russia is in a predicament due to a lack of chips, even willing to dismantle chips in dishwashers and refrigerators. Apply it to tanks, that's why chips must achieve self-sufficiency as soon as possible. Therefore, China has formulated a plan to achieve a 70% chip self-sufficiency rate by 2025, SMIC has invested a huge amount of money, planned in Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, Tianjin is constructing four wafer factories, used for the production of mature process chips. However, SMIC's performance has raised some doubts. According to the latest financial report, SMIC's revenue reached 11.7 billion yuan, net profit of 678 million yuan, compared to last year, it decreased by 10.6% and 78.4% respectively, even if it is the cumulative net profit of the first three quarters. It also plummeted by 60.9% year-on-year. According to industry insiders, the dismal performance is mainly affected by two aspects. On the one hand, the consumer electronics industry is still sluggish, on the other hand, it is the sustained capital expenditure caused by the expansion of mature production capacity. But this financial report, but it was mocked by foreign media for making a big fuss. SMIC is not the OEM factory of Huawei Kirin 9000S. The reason is that Huawei Mate 60 Pro was launched on August 29. Huawei is bound to purchase Kirin 9000 seconds chips in the third quarter or even earlier, as an advanced process chip. The Kirin 9000S, the profit from outsourcing is bound to be considerable. If SMIC is a OEM factory, excess revenue and profits should be reflected in the financial report. Considering that SMIC's financial report is relatively weak, it can be concluded that it may not be the OEM factory for Kirin 9000 seconds. Regarding this conclusion, it has to be said that there is indeed a certain degree of rationality, but we cannot ignore the conspiracy behind this matter. Yes, these American media comments about the Kirin 9000 seconds are at best just a probe, attempting to pry into our reactions through inducing words. In order to obtain some useful information, for small tricks like American media, we need to remain silent all the time, 
do not provide any clues or opportunities for it. Currently, although we have achieved certain victories, but the battle has not yet ended, especially in the field of AI chips and semiconductor core equipment. Restrictions are becoming increasingly severe. In the future, we must firmly pursue independent research and development, the road of independent production. We will eventually be able to win this semiconductor war, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida personally visited TSMC Kumamoto plant for inspection. Meet with Wei Zhejia, the president of TSMC, who led multiple supervisors to receive and exchange opinions, the Japanese government's support for stabilizing the chip supply chain, regarding the progress of Kumamoto 2 plant, which is of concern to the outside world, the Japanese government will subsidize TSMC Kumamoto 2 plant 7. 32 billion yen, Wei Zi's family confirmed that, the second factory is scheduled to settle in Kumamoto Kyoyo Cho. He once again thanked the Japanese government for its strong support. Establish strong relationships with local enterprises. Wei Zi's family reiterated that, Kumamoto Plant 1 is expected to be completed by 2030, reaching a local procurement rate of over 60. To jointly revitalize Japanese semiconductors, TSMC's first factory in Japan has settled in Kumamoto, Kyushu. It will be launched in February this year. Kumamoto Plant 2 is also scheduled to start construction this year. It is expected to start operation before the end of 2027. Planning Production 6 Advanced processes such as 7 nanometers, plus Kumamoto Ichi.